Delivering your invoices and statements by email can save you time, money, and may even get you paid faster. In this tutorial, we'll show you how easy it is to set up and use this feature. Setup is a two-step process. First, we'll need to identify the email contact and delivery method, and second, we need to modify or create the email message template. To set up the email contact and delivery method, we'll go to the AR customer form for each customer that will be receiving documents by email. We'll go to Mr. Ronald Black's record and the contact tab. Here we'll enter the person that will be receiving our invoices. In this case, it will be Mr. Black. And next we'll enter his email address. Well, for demo purposes, I'll actually enter my email address since Mr. Black is fictitious. We'll save this and move on to the processing tab. There are two fields on this screen that we need to edit. If you want to print or email statements, you'll need to make sure that you've checked the print statements box. We also need to change the delivery method to contacts email. When you're printing invoices, statements, and letters, you're given the option at the time of printing to select customer or print destination as the delivery method. If you select customer, then the program will use the delivery method that you've selected here. In this case, we'll select contacts email. We'll save our changes and close the form. Now we'll address the second major step in this process, modifying or creating the email message template. You'll find the templates under AR Setup, Email, Fax Messages. On this form, you're able to modify existing templates and create new ones. We'll click the New button to create a new template for invoices. Make sure that Invoice is selected as the message type, then enter a message ID. Let's enter an abbreviation for our demo company, which is SAM Inc. for Sample Company Incorporated, and for description, we'll enter invoice. We'll need to use some merge fields in the subject line and body of the email. Your AR Getting Started manual contains a list of all available merge fields. We want the subject line to say our company name followed by the word invoice. To do this, we'll enter the company name merge field and then type invoice. Next, we'll enter text and the applicable merge fields for the body of the email. To speed things up for this tutorial, I'll cut and paste the body content from a text file that I created previously. Note the merge fields that I've used in the body for the contact's name and your company's phone number, contact name, and company name. Now we'll save the form and take a look at how it works by emailing an invoice. We'll select AR Transactions, open the invoice batch list, and open an existing invoice batch. Let's email this invoice by clicking the Print Invoice button. Now here's the most important part. In order for this invoice to be sent by email, you'll need to change the delivery method to customer. If you've set the delivery method on the customer record to contacts email as I showed earlier, then the invoice will be sent automatically to the contact you specified on the customer record when you click the Print button. You can use the default template or one you've created or modified. Let's use the one we created earlier. We can view it by clicking the Zoom button. And by clicking Print, the invoice will be sent by email. Go ahead and click Yes to any pop-ups that may appear. Now let's take a look at what your customer will see when the email arrives. We'll jump to Outlook and there's the email you can see that the company and contact information has merged correctly, and double-clicking the attachment opens the invoice. To recap, using Sage Backpack ERP's email automation to send documents such as invoices, statements, quotes, orders, and purchase orders will reduce your effort, save postage, and you might even find that your customers pay quicker. Call us if you need assistance setting up email automation on your Sage Backpack system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.